Hey yeah there, I'm Courtney Art and today we are gonna draw this illustration and find out if Ohuhu sketchbook is good for alcohol markers and just sketching in general. I'm constantly looking for new paper brands so I can use good quality sheets for commissions I make. And they need to be not only thick enough, but also most important, allow the Copic markers to blend well. So I was going through some YouTube videos and came across a review of this Ohuhu sketchbook made especially for their Ohuhu alcohol markers. I don't have them, but I have a bunch of Copics that I can use and try this sketchbook out. There are four different types of those sketchbooks that you can find on Amazon in Germany square and portrait one with hardcover and same sizes for the spiral bond sketchbooks. I really wanted the square hardcover one, but they weren't available at the time I was shopping, so I did go with the spiral one. And I'm actually so happy now that it came out this way and I will explain later why. Now let's see what we got here. This is one super ugly cover. I mean, what the hell? Well, n nothing against sunflowers, but what the hell? Well, I guess this is just an opportunity to customize the sketchbook later, which I did. And I will show you the process and the results later in this video. There is a plastic insert piece that you can put in between pages, so alcohol markers won't bleed to the page below. That's great and pretty useful. Pages are pretty thick and have no defined structure, just as I like, and that means they would work pretty well with ink and pencils too. As you can see, each page has also pre-made ripping marks. I think it's very useful if you want to sell some of the pages later or just have them framed. Now to the fun part, let's start with testing. First, I'm making a sketch for the illustration that I will color with Copics later. I had this idea for a long time now. I know, I know, it's not very innovative to draw a girl that lies in water, water plants are around her and she's so melancholic and pretty. So many artists already did a version of a girl in a pond. By the way, have you seen this illustration by Jana Schirmer? This is so beautiful. Yeah, but I never made one. So I want, I will do, I don't care. Nope. Also a good tip if you are planning to sell the pages later, um, use masking tape around the edges. This way you will have a clean white edge around your work. And I thought about it a bit late, unfortunately. And now I'm gonna just do the sketch until it's done. While I'm still drawing here, I want to thank my patrons for supporting me and making this video possible. And if you like what I'm doing here and want to help me out, consider joining those awesome people on my Patreon. You will get process videos each month, PSD files of my illustrations and a lot of other interesting things. For example, you can watch the full process of this drawing here in a real-time uncut version. The sketch is now finished and it's time to get the masking tape away. Do you see those clean edges? Mmm, so satisfying. I make a long sausage out of my kneaded rubber and roll over the whole sketch to fade strokes before I start to color it. I'm starting with coloring the skin. As always, with alcohol-based markers, you will start your work from light to dark. It's always easy to make a part of your illustration darker if you need, but almost impossible to go lighter. It will be safe always to be 
on a bit brighter side. But the best way is to plan ahead. Do a color thumbnail to know which parts are gonna be very dark on your drawing. Do not waste the expensive ink on excessive layering. And don't forget the masking tape again. I'm liking so far how markers work with this paper. They blend pretty well and don't bleed excessively, so I can control where I put colors. If you want to go straight to the result and my conclusion on the sketchbook, go to this timestamp, otherwise enjoy this coloring time-lapse. I like to work with mixed media, so I add details with colored pencils. And the illustration is finished. I really enjoy drawing with markers on this paper. As you can see, it bleeds through the paper, so you cannot use the back side of it. But this is not a big problem for me. Usually the paper that prevents it is alpha for blending markers. I've tested the sketchbook for over two months now and you can see more pencil sketches here. And I must say, I absolutely love it. Ah yes, I wanted to tell you why I'm so happy that I didn't get the hardcover version of the book. The first thing that bothers me while drawing in any sketchbook is the thickness of it and my arm placing. You know when you need to draw something more to the edge 
and your hand has no support more. I usually will put a book to support my hand and continue to draw like this. But with the Sparrow Band sketchbook, I can just choose the paper sheet I need and put it flat on the desk. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> the second advantage comes when you want to scan your sketchbook pages without ripping them out. With hardcover books, I always have a problem that the middle part is always not touching the scanning panel, even if you press a bit into the sketchbook. As a result, this part will turn out blurry on the scan. With a spiral sketchbook, it's also not that easy, mostly because if I just place it down, the metal part will prevent the sketchbook from laying completely flat. But at least I can fix it in this case. I just pick one sheet I need to scan and put something on top of it to fix it flat. And no more gaps whatsoever. Everything about the sketchbook sounds pretty nice so far. Except... Why it's so ugly? Why? Well, I had a solution. First, draw a square illustration. Uploaded the print on demand shop to make a sticker. Buy your own product. Receive it. Cut off the white border of the sticker and round the corners. Just because it's prettier. And it fits perfectly. Well, well. Look at this beautiful sketchbook here. So, what is the verdict for a Huhu sketchbook for alcohol markers? Let's look at the cons and pros. It has an ugly cover, but you just saw how you can fix it. Corners of the paper will be a bit damaged with time, just like by all softcover sketchbooks. Now to pros. It has a good thick paper, great for alcohol markers, pencils and inks. You will receive a plastic insert piece so markers don't bleed through and I find it pretty useful. There is a pre-made repline that will be helpful if you want to sell or hang one of your sketchbook sheets. You can always make a sheet that you are working on lay flat on the surface, no extra hand support needed. And there will be an easier scanning experience. For me, this sketchbook is clearly a win and happens to be my favorite for now. And when it's full, I will get myself another one. But it's always up to you to decide if those things that I've listed here will work for you or maybe you are searching for something different. Have you tried the Uhuhu sketchbook yet? Do you want to try now? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.